Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Economics. Today we'll continue our study on the theory of demand. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the income elasticity of demand. In the last episodes, we saw the price elasticity of demand and we did calculations on how we can measure the price elasticity of demand from the point elasticity of demand concept. Okay, so if you have not watched that episode, you have no business here. Go back, watch the episode, and come back, join us in this class so that I can get proper what understanding about what the topic. All right, so do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam CBT practice application. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. All right, if you want to pass your jam exam at once, all right, at once, go and get the application now and start. Before I talk about the features of the app, let us see a question from the application. This is a 2007 jam passed question number 10. It has been displayed on the screen. It says that a commodity is described as inferior, as inferior when the A says income effect is negative. B says income effect is positive. C says substitution effect is negative. D says substitution effect is positive. Okay, so we will answer this question and we will understand what all of these options mean at the end. If at the end of the class, okay? We we'll answer the question at the end of the class, not before, because at all three schools, we believe in giving you value first. No we first teach you, okay? When we have taught you, answering questions will be the least of a problem. Also, download the application. It has all the past questions for all your subjects, okay? It has wonderful features like the classroom feature with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus, so you don't need to go and be worrying about the books. Okay, there's a question search feature where you can search for question according to topic. Okay, like the way we we'll search for this top, this question right now using the question search feature. Just put the topic there, search it, and the questions under that topic will come out for you to answer them. What's more is that, of course, we have what the UTME mock challenge. This challenge is a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for this year. Okay, you compete with your mates, you win amazing prizes every weekend. And what is more is that you also would familiarize yourself with jam pass questions, jam likely exam questions. You will see your result release every Saturday. So you will not be afraid when they say jam has released results. Okay, we have keep that fear long before you will write your main jam exam. All right, so please jump on the application. Activation fee is just for a little or token. Okay, it's a little, it's not up to the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. So if you want to pass your exam at once, you should not be thinking about how much you are paying for the application, but the utility, the maximum satisfaction you are going to get from using the application. All right, so please, let us go to the board as we talk about income elasticity of demand. And what do we say that income elasticity of demand is? We say it is the, from, from the word income, okay? For the, the, the last episode, we'll talk about price, okay? we we'll talk about price. You saw what price taking effect there, okay? With what? With quantity demanded. Now, we're talking about income. We we'll talk about income taking what uh, is placed with what with quantity what demanded. All right. Now let us see. They say this this measures the degree. It measures the magnitude. Okay. It measures what how big or how small the change is. The responsiveness of what of the quantity demanded of a commodity towards changes in consumers' income, okay? So it's what measures the degree or the responsiveness of the change in quantity demanded of a commodity as the consumer's income, what changes, okay? Does the, in as the consumer income increases, does the change in quantity demanded increase or decrease, okay? As the consumer's income, Okay, the money where they earn every month. Okay, okay, the, what is coming into his pocket as it is reducing, as it is falling. Okay, does the quantity demanded increase or decrease? This is what income elasticity of demand what talks about. Okay, is the degree of responsiveness of the change in quantity demanded of a commodity towards changes in consumers' income. Okay, for price elasticity, it was what towards changing what in what in price. Okay, but this one is towards changing in the consumer's income for income what elasticity of demand. Okay, so basically, uh, there are two types of income elasticity of demand we're going to look at, which is what the positive income elasticity and the negative income elasticity. Okay, so the positive income elasticity, elasticity, and the negative income elasticity. Those are the two types of 
income elasticity of demand that we have. So please know them and have what peace. So now, what is the positive income elasticity? All right. Now, we say that positive income elasticity, a commodity has positive income elasticity. Okay. When an increase in consumer's income, when an increase, okay, if when consumer's income, consumer's income, when it's increasing, when an increase, okay, when an increase in consumer's income, okay, leads to a corresponding increase, okay, leads to a what? Corresponding what? Increase. Leads to a corresponding increase, okay, in what? In quantity demanded okay remember what denote our quantity demanded what well, qd okay so so now we say a commodity has positive income elasticity positive income elasticity when both consumers income is increasing and the quantity demanded okay by those consumers is also what increasing okay increase increase that is positive income elasticity okay a commodity has positive income elasticity when an increase in the consumers income okay leads to a corresponding increase okay in the quantity demanded now let us see examples of what of um Goods that have positive income elasticity. Number one, the normal goods. Normal goods. Normal goods. Okay, and then number two, we have what? Ostentatious goods. Okay, now these two goods, normal goods and ostentatious goods, they are goods for which what demand what increases, rises. Okay. There are goods for which what demand what increases as the income, all right, of the what consumer increases. Okay, there are goods for which demand increases, all right, just like what because you say they have positive income elasticity. They are both goods for which the demand for them will be increasing, all right, as the consumer's income is increasing. You know what normal goods are, now, right? Okay, they are they are goods that what that obey what the the normal or demand what. Okay, so now. This ostentation goods, you know, they are what they are luxury goods, okay? They are luxury goods, they are superior goods, okay? Goods that the people wear or things that people buy just to show off, all right? So now, if you have more money, okay, as your income is increasing, all right, you see the normal goods as not too expensive. There are things that normal things you don't be buying, all right? Even the expensive things, because your 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 income is increasing, you'll be able to work to afford them. All right, so you keep on what you keep on buying them. So the demand for them will increase as the income of what of the um, of the consumer increases, and because of that, we say that what they have what we call positive income effect. Okay, they have a positive income effect. Positive income effect. Okay, these normal goods and what ostentatious goods, we say they have positive income what effect. All right. So also the demand for them will fall. Okay, the demand for them will fall as the income of the consumer is what is what is decreasing. Okay, so take note of that also. So demand for them will increase as the consumer's income is what is increasing. Demand for them will fall as the consumer's income is what is decreasing. It's as simple as what ABC. Take note of that. So they have what we call positive income effect. And likewise, likewise, it's good to take note of that for a good that has positive income elasticity, the coefficient of what? Of income elasticity is what? Always greater than zero. We denote coefficient of what? Income elasticity as what? As EY. Okay? It's always what? Greater than more than zero. Please take note of that. It's very important. That what? That the coefficient of what of income elasticity, okay, for a good that has positive income elasticity is always what greater than zero. It's always greater than zero. Take note of that. All right, and have peace. Now let us go to the second type of what of um what do you call of a positive of oh, sorry of income elasticity, which is what number two, the negative income elasticity, the negative income elasticity. All right. So now we say that a commodity is said to have negative income elasticity when an increase in consumer's income, as the consumer income is increasing, it leads to a decrease 
in the quantity demanded of the commodity and vice versa. Okay, increase in consumer's income, increase in consumer's income, leading to what? Decrease in quantity demanded and vice versa, okay? So as if for negative income elasticity, okay, as the consumer's income is increasing, okay, there is decrease in the quantity demanded, okay, for what? For those for, for those goods, okay? Examples of uh, goods that have what that show negative income elasticity, they are inferior and giving goods. Inferior and giving goods, okay? These inferior goods are goods that have negative income effects. Okay, there are goods that have negative income effect. In fact, let me not further define what are inferior goods and giving goods. And let me explain them because a lot of you, I don't think you really understand what giving goods are and what inferior goods are. Let me just take this time out to work to explain them. So now, inferior goods, okay, inferior goods are goods that become less desirable. Okay, inferior goods, let me put it down so that if you want to write it down, write it down and know it for life. Inferior goods are goods that become less desirable okay as the okay as the what income of the consumer okay increases leading to what less or listen to what to less what quantity Okay, leading to, let me just say, leading to what? To a decrease in the quantity demanded. Leading to a decrease in the quantity demanded. All right, so please take note of that. Okay, we said our inferior goods are goods that become less desirable as the income of the consumer is increasing, leading to a decrease in the quantity demanded. All right, so it gets to a point where you have money. Okay, it gets to the kind of money. In fact, there's a kind of money we have that's some things you don't want to buy again. Okay, you say, ah, I don't pass this level now. Ah, ah, why would they use? Ah, ah, why would they use bike? Okay, <laughs> when car day, or why, why, why would I be using a uh, golf when there's Lexus? Okay, when there's Mercedes Benz. Okay, it's not as if those. Those goods, okay, it's not as if those goods they are of less quality. Oh. It's not a matter of quality, okay? It's from the consumer's perspective, all right, that they become what less desirable. They don't, they don't, it doesn't it doesn't now fit them again because their their income, okay, as far as surpassed. In fact, even yourself, you say you have you have seen a situation where somebody says, as this man get money rich, see what he did drive. <laughs> Now, wow, if me get that kind of money, I go the drive big big motor. Okay, some of you, you have done, you have said that kind of thing before, all right? So, inferior goods are goods that become less desirable, okay? Leading to less quantity demanded as the income of the consumer what increases, all right? Hope you get that point very clear. Now, what is now what you call uh, giving goods? Giving goods, on the other hand, they are actually non-luxury giving goods, giving goods, giving goods, are non-luxury, okay, low-income goods, okay, for which demand increases as price increases. Okay, please remember now that we do not talk about income or it's not income here, yeah, price, as the price of what those goods are what are increasing, okay, uh, the income, okay, the uh, the what are non luxury low income or goods for which demand for them we increase as price is what is what is increasing, okay. So as price of the commodities increasing, all right, people will, will see what will see buy more, all right. They are what they are low income, they are non luxury, okay. They are low income, they are non luxury what goods. Take note of that. For if demand for them increases as price increases as price, oh, okay, this as price increases. Okay, so 
um, what they call inferior goods and giving goods are what they are examples of what of goods that have negative income what elasticity. All right, there are goods that have negative income what elasticity. I will say inferior goods. Okay, they have what to call what negative income effect. Okay, In, you can say they have what what to call negative income what effect. Okay, inferior goods are goods for which demand rises. As the income, okay, of the what of the consumer falls, okay, demand for them will rise as the income of the consumer what falls. All right, so take note of what of that. Now let us continue. I say inferior and giving goods are similar in the sense both of them they are similar in the sense that what both have a negative income what elasticity. All right, but the difference between them is that what inferior goods have what to call positive what substitution effect. Positive substitution effect. Okay, inferior goods. Okay, they have what we call positive substitution effect. That is what they have what close substitutes. Okay, they have close substitutes. Okay, so take note of that. Where inferior goods are goods that have what we call positive substitution effect. Okay, that is they have what close substitutes. Okay, so like we are saying here that the difference. The different, but the difference between them is that inferior goods have positive substitution what effect. Why those giving goods they do not really have what substitution what effect. They do not have. They have. They do not have. They, they do not have close substitutes. They do not have close substitutes. Okay, that is different between giving goods and what an inferior goods. Inferior goods have what a positive substitution effect. That is, they have close substitutes. Why what the giving goods they do not have what close substitutes. All right, they do not have a positive substitution what effect. So please take note of what of that. Now, for the coefficient of what of elasticity of demand, okay, the coefficient of income elasticity when a good has negative income or uh, elasticity is always less than zero. E y is less than what zero. Okay, for positive elasticity, E y, okay, is greater than what zero. But for negative income elasticity, E y is what less than zero. So please take note of what of this. These are the major things you should do or take note of. Okay, in this aspect of the class. So now I'm going to go to the OTS school jump up now. Now bring out those questions. Now answer them because we have learned. Let us see the first question. 2007 number 10 says, a commodity is described as inferior when the, we say A, income effect is negative. B, income effect is positive. All right. C, substitution effect is negative. D, substitution effect is positive. Okay, correct answer there is what? Is income effect is what? Is negative. We say that what inferior goods have negative income if it's still on the board. They have negative income effect. Please take note of what of that. Right? The diff where where uh, substitution effect came in is when I try to differentiate between um, uh, giving goods and what? And inferior goods. All right. So please take note of what of that. Let us see 1997, number 14. They say a good is said to be inferior if its demand, okay? If its demand, A, say, rises as income rises. B, say, falls as income rises. C, say, rises as price falls. D, say, it's perfectly inelastic. But let answer is option B because the demand for them will fall as the income is what is rising. They become less desirable. They become less desirable as what well. the income of the consumer increases. So there are so many other questions on this application. Do where go to Play Store, download it. The application is also available for your computer version. All right, if you want to practice on your laptop, all right, send a message to this number on WhatsApp 091 515246. If you have downloaded the application and you want to activate it, also send a message to this number on WhatsApp. You will get your activation code that you paid for. So you have nothing to worry about. Nothing. Okay. My name is Master T. I am the Grand Commander of this OT Schools Army. I'll see you in the next class where we'll talk about measurement of income elasticity of demand. Thank you for watching.